This project to build a set of uh, HD FPV goggles has two monitor options. Um, you can either use a 5 inch field monitor like this one. You can get those from Amazon or eBay for around um, £80. I'll put a link in the instructions. Um, and with a field monitor the radio link you'd need is some sort of proprietary link for HD from your aircraft to the goggles like the ProSight the uh, ProSight HD link which is quite expensive but very very good if you can't afford a ProSight then there is another option you can use the uh, Raspberry Pi HD FPV broadcast system in which case you need the Raspberry Pi um, now this here is a Raspberry Pi it plugs into the back of a dedicated 5 inch monitor and these are very cheap you can get them for about £30 from Amazon or from eBay just look for um, 5 inch Raspberry Pi monitor now that plugs straight the, the Raspberry Pi plugs straight into the back of the monitor now I have experimented with different versions of the Raspberry Pi the Raspberry Pi version 1 doesn't line up properly with the monitor Raspberry Pi version 2 lines up perfectly um, so that's the one I would recommend and in my experience the Raspberry Pi version 3 doesn't work with the H HD FPV uh, broadcast system I'll put links to the project of the uh, HD broadcast system in the instructions and <coughs> you plug your Wi-Fi dongle into the side of the RS of the Raspberry Pi, and that's your complete reception system. Now, depending on which monitor you use, print out the appropriate camera body. Uh, sorry, goggles body. There's a goggles body for the uh, for the Raspberry Pi. there and the Raspberry Pi monitor just plugs in to the back of the goggles frame like that and that will stay well fixed once you've plugged it in tight fit but you can use additional method for fixing it if you like I haven't found it necessary for my project. Providing your printer is accurate, then that'll be a good fit. So that's the Raspberry Pi version of the goggles. There's another version for the 5 inch HDMI field monitor. And again, that just plugs in to the back appropriate goggles frame and it can be fixed in place with a tripod screw there so that's the frame the goggles frame for the 5 inch field monitor I'll show you how to assemble the goggles now first thing to assemble is the rack and pinion focusing assembly so these are the parts that you need print out two of the cogs two of the racks and two focusing knobs now I've placed these on top of a Fresnel lens because we're going to need a Fresnel lens as well I suggest 
um, you purchase one called a Carson uh, Fresnel lens and it's for people um, who need help with uh, their eyesight when they're reading you can get them from Amazon or from eBay costs about £12 unfortunately it's much much too big it's A4 so I've given the um, dimensions of a template in the instructions print out the template around about the middle of the Carson lens mark out what you need to cut out and cut out around that with a Dremel or if you haven't got a Dremel heat up the blade of a Stanley knife and that will help you cut through so you cut through make your lens here's one I did earlier and that's your lens so to assemble the rack and pinion focusing assembly take the the main body of the goggle and slot the two rack gears left and right with the the gears facing the hole and so that's the wrong one for that side this must be the left hand side one slide that in the right hand one slide that in now when you first print these off it might be quite stiff so just run them up and down like that a few times quickly just to bed them in and you might like to put a little smear of Vaseline on that as well to um, to get it to move in and out freely you don't want it to be too free because you want a little bit of friction then you take the two cogs and you press them in through the holes on the side if you can see that there's a hole in the side from the inside press the cog in through the hole so that it matches up you can see that there matches up with the the rack and do the same on the other side everything here is black so it's not particularly easy to see but I hope you can see it slot that one in make sure that the cogs match up now you'll see on the both side we've got a little uh, boss protruding and you can plug the the knobs, the adjustment knobs onto that boss and they're keyed to lock them in place so look carefully where the key is and slot that in over that's the right hand side one and we'll slot the left hand side one in there now they will lock into place quite easily uh, if you're worried you can also glue them so that they don't come out at all and now you'll see when when you turn the knob the rack moves up and down both sides okay so now we're ready to put the Fresnel lens in when you're cutting the Fresnel cover it with uh, masking tape first to stop it from being scratched and you can lay your template on the masking tape draw around it and 
and then you're ready to Dremel then you're ready to Dremel now that the lens is in there the next thing to consider is the eyepiece now the eyepiece just um, plugs straight onto there and push it down until it meets the stop and the eyepiece is now is now attached uh, to the main goggles body and now this is the point at which you need to de decide what sort of lens you need if you've got normal eyesight 2020 vision then you won't need any additional lenses you can just focus using the Fresnel lens if you've got if you're short-sighted uh, you probably won't need any additional lenses either if you're long-sighted like me you need to put another fixed lens in place so that you can focus easily on the screen and the lens that I'm using is a thing called a Carson lens show you there which comes like that you can buy them on eBay or Amazon and they're designed to clip onto the brim of your peaked hat so that you can use them as reading glasses for tying flies or whatever and that's how they come with a clip you just take the clip off it just clips on take the clip off and that then mounts in the brackets provided curved side facing downwards inside the eyepiece just slide it in sorry my arms in the way there but slide it in until it's in a comfortable position for your vision now these Carson lenses come in two strengths uh, 1.5 magnification and 2.5 magnification uh, I've found that if you've got a prescription of uh, up to about plus 2 then use the 1.5 magnification if it's more than plus 2 like mine's plus 4 then use the 2.5 times magnification which is actually a plus five prescription lens it's written on there um, and then you're ready to go on to the next bit which is to put the straps and the foam rubber on the uh, eyepiece